Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I am gonna show you how in Google Sheets to have multiple tabs of data pulled into one master tab. So what this might look like is I might have different tabs along the bottom where I'm tracking different data. And if I was to add an athlete in here, let's say Tony Stark and add all of their data, and that would be Tony Stark's max bench press. And then you can see that that data is automatically pulled into our master sheet. This is gonna be really useful if you are tracking any sort of lifting data or fitness data or maybe even athlete wellness data that you wanna be pulling into one master database. And then I'm gonna show you how to add a slicer to it so that I could filter out that data and say I only wanted to look at Tony Stark's data. I could click that right away and see all of that data at the click of a button. So let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, we are starting with a blank Google Sheet and I'm gonna show you how to do this um, completely from scratch. And that way you'll be able to replicate it with a new Google Sheet that you might be working with. Um, quick reminder, before we get too far into this video, if you are liking these videos, um, please like, subscribe to the channel and share the videos, that helps me out a lot. And then don't forget to comment down below on any future videos you'd like to see or ask any questions about this video and I'll do my best to get back to you. So with that out of the way, let's get after um, this project. So we have started a brand new Google Sheet and it is blank and we have to put this formula into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename this sheet and we're gonna call it Master Sheet. Actually, I'll call it Master Data. So that's gonna be where we keep all of our data and that's gonna be the first sheet that we see when we open this up. And I'm gonna change the color of this to red and that just highlights it to let me know that this is where everything is going to go. Then the second piece is we just gotta create our data headings. So I'm gonna do it exactly like I did in the intro. I'm gonna have athlete, date, lift, um, reps, load, and one RM. And one RM is going to be a calculation. And then what I like to do in Google Sheets, because there's no true table function, I will just usually fill this with a darker color. Um, let's go a little darker than that. I'll fill it with a darker color and then make the text white. And then that just gives sort of the illusion of a new, of a table. And it sort of gives me my headers from which to work off of. Then we gotta create some other sheets to actually house our data. So the first one we're gonna do, I just hit the plus icon down at the bottom here. Let's do our bench press. So I'm gonna call this bench press and I'm gonna color that blue cause that's gonna be a data sheet. And I'm just gonna copy the headers over from the master sheet. And it's gonna be really important for the formula that your headers are actually in the same order. So in this case, we're going athlete, date, lift, reps, load, one RM. Um, when I want to pull all of the data together, it has to be all organized in the same way. So all of the lift data that we're going to be tracking is going to need to be entered in athlete date, lift, reps, load, 1RM. Okay. So then the next thing we have to do is just start to add in some data. So I'm just going to call it athlete one, athlete one, athlete one. And then I should be able to drag this down. We'll say maybe 12 athlete ones or so. And I'm going to add some dates in here. Whenever I'm adding dates for videos like this, I'll just go 01, 02, 2020, 01, 03, et cetera, and I'll drag those down. And it just automatically keeps adding one to it. I do them in succession that way. That way, if I'm organizing anything by date, it's automatically going to add one to it. And I know that it is going to go to the next day. And then the lift we're going to do for this one is bench press. And if I put a couple of in there and then drag it down, Google Sheets is pretty smart and it knows that I am going to want a bench press. And then let's add some reps. So we'll go five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's add some loads. Let's say 200, 202, 205, 210, 215, 220. Um, 240, 250, 255, 260, 265, well, 267, and 270. And then we want to add an actual 1RM formula. 
So because I know that this last column is gonna house my formula, I'm just going to highlight the whole column and make it another color, say a light gray, and I'll put this back. And that way I just know that in this column there's an actual formula. <clears throat> and if you've seen my video on how to calculate 1RMs, we're just gonna use that formula. So what it's gonna look like is um, weight times reps um, times 0 0.0333 um, plus weight. So it looks like this equals, um, we're gonna put it in brackets, so I'm gonna go reps times weight times 0 0.0333 and then close that bracket off and then add our load to that and hit OK. And you can see that's now giving us our 1RM value or approximate 1RM value. And I believe that's the 531 formula that we're using there. And I'm just gonna drag this down a bunch so that as I add more values, if I was to put in, I don't know, like eight and 300, it's gonna keep doing that all the way down. But the actual zero values here look kinda ugly. So I'm gonna remove those with a quick if formula. So what that looks like is if I just go back to this formula, I can go to the front of it and go if really any of these values, I'm gonna just choose load in this case, equals nothing, which is double brackets, or sorry, yeah, double quotations. If that is true, then what do I want it to do? I just want it to show a nothing value, and if it's not, I want it to perform that calculation. So basically all I've said here is if the cell's empty, then be empty. If not, I want you to perform the calculation, because if it's not empty, that would tell me that there's a load in there that needs to be calculated. I've chosen the load because um, as long as we put a load in there, it will calculate out that load as the 1RM because it adds it at the end. So as I hit enter and then I drag this down, it cleans up the formula. And if I was to put a load in there, it'll just use that load as what the 1RM is. But you can do it really any way that you want. And then the last piece that I'm just gonna clean this up with a little bit is I'll just collect, or uh, sorry, highlight all of these columns and I'm just going to center justify the text. Whenever I'm working with data, I usually center justify the text just so that it looks a little cleaner and things have a little bit more space between them. That's how we will organize our data sheet. And now it's really just about putting in the formula to pull that data out. So what that looks like is I'm gonna go back to my master data sheet here and I'm gonna use a function called query. And what query does is it allows me to search on a condition and pull out all of the data associated with that condition. So what it looks like is I'm gonna put equals query and then open that up and inside it's gonna ask me for a few different things. It's gonna ask me for what data I want and then what the query actually is. And inside here we're gonna put our data inside of a squiggly bracket I don't actually know what kind of bracket that is, so I'm just gonna call it a squiggly bracket. And then we're gonna reference the actual page where we're keeping our data. And when we're referencing a sheet, we have to use a single quotation, and I'm gonna use the bench press sheet. So I'll type in bench press exactly like it is, and then I'm gonna put my quotation and then an exclamation mark, and that tells Google Sheets that we are referencing a page. And then the actual Cell references that I want is I want all the way from A2, if you can see where we're typing in the formula, all the way to F. So I'm gonna type that in, A2, double dots, F. And what that will do is it'll pull out all of the data from A2 all the way down to F. And then if I close my squiggly brackets and then hit a comma, it's gonna ask me what my query actually is. And in this function, we actually have to type in text. So the text that we're gonna use is select star, which represents our values. And what we wanna tell it is where call one is not null. Just one quick thing, under call one, the C has to be capitalized and then it's OL1 is not null means is not equal to nothing. And then when I close this off, Basically what I'm telling the formula is, I want you to select all of the data in the bench press sheet from A2 all the way to F and only select it if the value in the column one is not null, which means empty. And then when I hit enter, 
what you're going to notice is that it automatically pulls in all those values. And just like we did in the other sheet, all I'm going to do is center justify this. So now it looks really good and we'll check to see that if it's working. If I was to add Tony Stark, 2020, 01, 11 bench press. He did seven reps at let's say 400 kilos. And when I go back to my master data sheet, it has added Tony Stark to our actual sheet. So that's working well. Now the next piece we wanna do is we wanna have it do the same thing for multiple data sheets. So all I'm gonna do is duplicate this bench press sheet a couple of times. And I'll name one of them um, squat. And then I'll name the other one deadlift. And these could be anything you want. But I'm just gonna use bench press, squat, and deadlift because they're easy values to work with. And under the squat one, we are gonna change all of, this, all of the bench press values to squat. And then under the deadlift one, we'll do the same thing, but to deadlift. And I will just drag that all the way down. And then we'll go back to our master data sheet and we have to update our query. And the way that we're gonna do that is I'm just gonna copy this formula, this part of the formula where it says bench press. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna use um, a semicolon put that in there and I'll paste that back in. But now instead of bench press, I want it to reference the squat sheet. So I'll just change that to squat and I'll put one more semicolon, paste it back in again. And I'm going to reference the deadlift this time. So you can see, as we look at our query formula here, we have query bench press a two to F semicolon squat a two to F semicolon deadlift a two to F. And it's really important that these values match the sheets that we have named or else this query function won't work and when i hit enter lo and behold it has pulled in all of those values and if we want to check that it's working correctly we can put another athlete in here let's say captain america captain america is pretty strong so he did five reps at 500 kilos and when we go back to our master data captain america is in there so that's how you use the query function to pull all of your data into a master sheet. And then the last piece that we want to do is I want to insert a slicer. So I'm going to go to data, go to slicer, and it's going to ask me what the data range that I want is. And I want it to look at the name. So in this case, instead of L10, what I want is A1 um, all the way to A and hit OK. And then it will automatically select the athlete column and it knows because in A1 it says athlete and I should now be able to select any of my athletes and automatically slice it based on their values. So it would be really quick for me to just pull out any of their values. So for example, if we were to select athlete one, we could pull out just athlete one's bench squat and deadlift or if we selected say Captain America, he only has a deadlift value, so it's only gonna pull out his deadlift. So we'll clear that out and hit okay and put everything back to normal. And that will keep working now as long as we keep entering our data into these sheets here. Eventually we'll have to drag our um, 1RM formula down because that hasn't gone down forever. But this is just one master sheet now that you can use to put all of your data in. If you check out one of my other videos on how to import data from sheet to sheet, you can combine the two and have all of your data actually stored in a different Google Sheet and then import it all into one master sheet using the query function and have it all in one place that maybe you share with your coaches or your athletes. So I hope this trick helps you out. And if you did, or if it does help you out, please like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share it with people so that they can get helped out too. And um, I will see you in the next video. And I've been trying to release videos every Monday and Wednesday right now. So I guess I will see you next Monday. So thanks for watching.